Hello everyone. Welcome back to our C programming journey. In this video, we are diving into a crucial topic that is loops. So what are loops? So basically, loops allow us to execute a block of code repeatedly making our programs efficient and flexible. So let's consider an example where I want to display a message, let's say 10 times. So we can write the program in this way by using the printf statement 10 times. But is this a feasible solution? No, not at all. So instead, we can use a loop here. There are basically two types of loops in C programming. First one is nothing but entry control loops and second one is exit control loops. So by the name itself, we can understand that in entry control loops, the test condition is checked before entering the body of the loop. Whereas in the exit control loops, the test condition is checked at the end of the loop body. So we can say that in the exit control loop, the body will execute at least once irrespective of whether the condition is true or false. So for and while loop are entry control loops because the condition is checked before executing the body of the loop. Whereas do while is exit control loop as the condition is checked at the end. So let's start one by one. First we will go for the for loop. So before using any loop, we must understand what exactly is the syntax. So the syntax to use for loop is we should use a for keyword in the bracket we must initialize the variable first then by using a semicolon which acts as a terminator we should mention the test condition again a terminator and then we should mention our update statement then in the curly braces we can write our block of statements which are nothing but the body of our for loop so, in this for loop, the variable that we use for initialization will control the entire loop. So, let's understand how this loop works. So, first we initialize a variable, then the test condition is checked. If it is evaluated to true, then the body of the loop is executed. Once all the statements are done, the variable is updated to get a new value. Then again, the test condition is checked and again, if it is true, then the body of the loop is executed. So these statements are repeated until the test condition is false. So let's understand the for loop with the help of a flowchart. After the start, the initialization of the variable is done. Then our respective condition is checked. If the condition is true, then the block of statements will be executed and we are going to update the variable to get a new value. This updated value, we are going to check it again in the condition and these block of statements or this process is repeated till the condition becomes false. And once the condition is false, then we will stop our process. Now next, let's explore the while loop. Again, before going to the while loop concept, we must understand the syntax of while loop. So how it is written? Again, the steps, the three basic steps remain same. Like first one will be initialization. So initialization is done at the beginning. Then by using a while, while is a keyword, in the bracket, we mention the condition. So this is the second that is important. We must mention the condition and then in the curly braces, we will write our block of statements with end will be our updation. That is, we will update the statement or we will update the expression. Now let's understand the execution of file loop. So the three basic steps remain same. First one is initialization. So we are going to initialize the variable here. Then by using a while keyword in the bracket, we are going to mention the test condition. This is the second most important thing. 
then if the condition is evaluated to true then our process will enter the curly braces and we are going to execute the block of statements after executing the block of statements our variable is updated to get a new value with this new value we are going to check the condition again now if the condition is true again this process gets repeated but if the condition is false then the loop ends now if you compare the flowchart diagram of for loop and while loop you will see that most of the steps are exactly the same so yes first we are going to initialize the variable then we will check the conditions if the condition is true then the block of statements will be executed with an updation of the variable and again the condition is checked with the updated value if the process or if the condition is true then the process is repeated but if the condition is false then we will end here so let's talk about the last loop that is do while loop this loop ensures that the code block is executed at least once regardless of the condition so again how we can go for do while loop so the syntax is the three basic steps again remain same first is initialization so you should initialize the variable in this step then we must use a do keyword then in the curly brackets we are going to write the block of statements at the end we will update our variable and after the curly braces we are mentioning a while keyword and in the bracket we will write our condition and at the end there is a semicolon which indicates the termination let's understand the execution of this so first the variable will be initialized then we are telling our compiler to perform the block of statements like do these statements so the block of statements will be executed then the variable will be updated and after that the condition will be checked now if you understand here first while entering the key of the loop we are not checking any condition that's why do while loop is called as exit control loop because we are checking the condition at the end so even if the condition is false at the beginning only then also at least once our block of statements will be executed that is the body of the loop will be executed to sum it up loops are essential for automating repetitive task in programming the for while do while loops provide different ways to achieve this based on your requirements so now that you have got a good understanding of loops you can apply it in your programs Thank you for watching this video and if you like this don't forget to subscribe the channel